point is, I am forgiven because God loves me. Did you know that God loves you so much? He loves me and he loves you. Let's check t our today's song, Psalm 32. Hey Calvary Kids, welcome to week four of our Sing series. Today's main point is, I am forgiven because God loves me. And today we're going to be reading straight out of our Bibles. We're going to look up Psalms 32. So I'll give you guys a couple seconds to look that up so you can, guys can read along with me. Ready? All right. Here we go. Psalms 32 says, Blessed is he whose transgressions are forgiven, whose sins are covered. Blessed is the man whose sin the Lord does not count against him, and in whose spirit is no deceit. When I kept silent, my bones wasted away through my groaning all day long. For day and night your hand was heavy upon me. My strength was sapped as in the heat of summer. Then I acknowledged my sin to you and did not cover up my iniquity. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord and you forgave me the guilt of my sin. Therefore, let everybody who is godly pray for you while you may be found. Surely when the might, mighty waters rise, they will not reach him. You are my hiding place. You will protect me from trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you and watch over you. Do not be like the horse of the, or the mule, which have no understanding, but must be controlled by bit and brittle, or they will not come to you. Many are the woes of the wicked, but the Lord's unfailing love surrounds the man who trusts in him. Rejoice in the Lord and be glad, you righteous. You righteous, sing all you, all you who are upright in heart. I love how verse eight. Eight says, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you and watch over you. I love this verse because it literally tells us how God is giving us instructions on what we should do to be forgiven and why we should do it. He will give us the strength and he will guide us. For example, can you guys remember a time when you guys were mad at someone, maybe a friend, your parent, your little brother or sister? Maybe you were mad and um, you did something not so nice and you know you knew you had to say sorry. Saying sorry is not always easy or someone had to say sorry to you. So Psalms 32 is telling us that when we do something wrong, God wants to hear us say we're sorry. And when we ask for forgiveness, God forgives us right away. In fact, it says that it brings us closer to God. And we all want to be closer to God, right? Now we're going to read from 1 John chapter 1, verse 9. I'm going to give you guys a couple seconds so you guys can follow along with me and once you guys find it in your Bibles. Are you guys there yet? Okay, so verse 9 says, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. How cool is that? How cool is it to know that when we say we're sorry, we confess our sins, God purifies us and makes us righteous. So remember, we are forgiven because God loves us. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's lesson as much as I did. And I hope you guys have an awesome week. Happy Thanksgiving. So God takes away my sin just like he wipes it clean, just like this whiteboard. We're going to play a game, Two Truths and a Lie. Can you guess which one of these leaders' facts is not true? Hey guys, it's Jer. Um, two truths and a lie, you choose which is which. Uh, I have been on an international flight. Uh, my fingers are like double jointed. And I have traveled to the East Coast. Oh, alright. Um, Two truths and a lie. 
I have five children. Uh, my favorite animal is a koala, and I have 10 nieces and nephews. Go. Okay, two truths and a lie. Let me see. I am 5'9", uh, I am a cosplayer, and I love to sing. This was a silly game, but God doesn't want us to lie. Have you ever not been truthful? We should ask for forgiveness when we do. It's sometimes hard to admit we're wrong, but just because it's hard doesn't mean we can't do it. And just like God forgives us, we should forgive others. Let's check out this week's verse. Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout out loud to the rock of our salvation. Psalms 95, 1. Don't forget to memorize your verse. And remember that we can be thankful because God forgives us. Let's see how well you were paying attention. What does God want us to do even if it's hard? Right, forgive. True or false, God can wipe away our sins. That's right, true. What did God do for us to wipe away our sins? Yes, sent his son Jesus to die on the cross for our sins.